I know a fellow wrote me a letter complaining that we only do projects with cheap, crappy cars. And that's not fair to our affluent viewers who may have a luxury car that they love to recycle, but they just don't get any suggestions. Now, let me make one thing clear. Just because I may take a K car and turn it into a Zamboni, or a Ford, Ford Fairlane turn it into a lawn tractor, doesn't mean you can't do the same thing with like a Bimmer or an Audi or something. Don't let my reality hinder your imagination. So this week, we're going to do a project using this luxury vehicle, fully equipped with all the bells and whistles, right here on Handyman Corner. And what we're going to do is we're going to build something with this vehicle that every luxury car owner only dreams about. A backhoe. Or in this case, a front hoe. All right, you better listen up. Because I know a lot of you rich people just hire somebody when you have to do something that's either difficult or creative. All right, now what we need to do is to remove the cross piece thingy, the doohickey. The thing there that stops the ladder from doing the splits. Now you could, uh, you could take the rivets out of there, but hey, to affluent people, time is money. Those legs are free to open and wide up and close, whatever. We need a way, though, to keep them open. And in my experience, there's only two things that keep legs open. Childbirth and a thigh master. You rich guys may know of another thing. But I'm going with the thigh master. All right, that's our basic back whole unit uh, put together there. And I've attached her to the front bumper here. Now comes the fun part. <laughs> All right, we need this thing to move in three ways, basically. First of all, we need this section to move so that the uh, scoop can go right up and over the dirt. Next, we need the ladder itself to squeeze together against the thigh master so that the scoop can actually pick up the dirt. And then lastly, we need the scoop itself to be able to pivot so that we can load and unload the dirt. All right, now, to do that, I'm gonna use these uh, clothesline bits and clothesline pulleys. I got these free from a neighbor who now has to buy a dryer. <laughs> all right, well, I'll hook all this up, and then we'll get to that fun part I spoke of earlier. we had to use a luxury car because many of the high-end power operated options are actually going to be used to run our backhoe for example the height and the drag of the unit are going to be run by these cables which are attached to our power windows and the angle of the bucket is controlled by our power sunroof here let me show you all right let's say you got to get a pile of dirt off your front lawn because your in-laws are coming over and they always steal your dirt control, or in this case, the driver's window. All right, now we just got to drop the bucket there with our sunroof control. And we just pull in the drag control in the passenger window. And then just raise her up. And then we can take her over where we want to dump her. Is that luxury or what? Remember, the women don't find you handsome, they should at least find you handy. Oh yeah, we gotta dump the dirt too. What we have here is the Cadillac of backhoes. No, actually it's the backhoe of Cadillac. 